Hi everyone and welcome back and if you're new here, I am Prakriti and in today's video, I am going to create a nude makeup look using products under Rs 500. The focus is going to be more on the products. All the products are easily available in India and are very affordable. So let's get started. For eyebrows, I'm going to use two products today. For hair like strokes, I am using the Mars eyeliner pen. I'm using it on my left brow only because it's got more sparse hair than the right one. Be very careful if you do this because it's a little bit messy. For filling in my eyebrows, I'm using the Sugar Arch Rival Brow Definer in Felix Onyx. Now this is an excellent brow definer. It's waxy and it's perfectly pigmented. To set my brow hair, I will be using the Wet n Wild Mega Clear Mascara. I call it a brow mascara because it does hold the brows in place. I feel that it doesn't work that good on the lashes but it works really good on the eyebrows. The wand is beautiful to tame your brow hair. I back comb my brows a bit. That way it looks more feathery and fluffy. Now let's prime my face. For primer, I will be using the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Plus Smooth Primer. This has become my favorite primer these days. I use it a lot. It makes my skin so smooth and also it gives you a very nice glow. There is also a matte plus poreless variant of this primer but for my skin, I like using the dewy one and I will be using a matte foundation today. So this one should work fine. Let's get to foundation. For foundation, I will be using the Miss Claire Everyday Foundation. This is their new launch. Now, this is a gorgeous foundation, you guys. It's available in 16 shades. I have got three shades with me. First is B E 6 True Beige. It's a bit light for me, as you can see. Then we have MT03 Caramel, which is my shade. And then ultimately, we have MT04 Cinnamon, which is a little bit dark for me. So caramel is my shade, but I'm going to mix a little bit of beige as well because the foundation may oxidize a bit. This is extremely lightweight formula that blends effortlessly. The coverage is medium to full. It's very buildable. You can also mix it with a moisturizer to make it a tint. It's non cakey and the best thing is that it did not crease which was very surprising for me. I wore it for about four hours and it did not crease at all. The finish is demi matte. It looks a bit dewy on me because I used a primer of that sort but overall I love this foundation and if you're looking for an affordable foundation you can definitely give it a try. You can see how flawless this looks and not only on camera in real life as well this looks amazing and it's extremely lightweight Since I used a Miss Claire foundation, I'm using their concealer too. This is their Fake It concealer. It does oxidize a lot and it settles very quickly. So you have to be quick with the blending, otherwise it will set and become patchy. It's also full coverage, so you don't have to use a lot. By the way, I have a video where I swatched and compared all my concealers. I'm going to link it in the description so you can check it out. I'm applying this concealer under my eyes, on my forehead and a little bit on my chin. I am going to blend it in with a sponge. For setting my face, I'm using the Nykaa All Day Matte Compact in Olive. This comes in 8 shades. I'm using the shade 05. I like this compact because it sets my base but it's not on the drying side. I received a damaged product when I ordered it but Nykaa replaced it so that was a good thing. At one point, I thought of getting a refund instead of a replacement but thank god I did not do that. This is a really good affordable compact. For cream contour, I'm using the Cuffs and Lashes Cover Pot in Chestnut. The brush I'm using here is from Wet n Wild. I will try to link all the brushes in the description or at least the ones that are in stock. First, I'm going to contour my forehead, then my cheekbones, and then my jawline, and ultimately my nose. Now, the cover pots have got a matte finish, so you cannot just apply it on your face and blend it. You have to work it into your skin. You have to pick a little, blend it, and then if you want more, you can apply more. You cannot just directly apply it and blend it all in one go. For my eyeshadow base, I'm going to use a dot of the concealer first. Then I'm going to use the Mars Fantasy 15 eyeshadow palette. This is the best palette I have under Rs 500 and you get more than what you pay for. You have neutral shades, couple of popping shades, warm shades too and all that for Rs 300 which feels unreal to be honest. I'm using a couple of nude shades from the palette. This eye look is 100% matte and very easy to do.
I'm running the same shades on my lower lash line as well. For lining my eyes, I am using the Mars Won't Budge Won't Smudge Kajal. This does not smudge. You have to apply it. You get about a minute to blend or smoke it out. And then it sets to this extremely matte transfer proof and smudge proof finish. So what I'm doing here is I am just lining my lash line with this one and tight lining as well. For mascara, I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara and the Mars Fabulous Lash Mascara. Both of them are beautiful and perform really well together. I don't like the big wand of the Mars Mascara because I have very small eyes but if you can manage that, you will really like this mascara. The Maybelline Colossal is my all-time favorite as you guys know I use it in most of my videos. This is the washable version I think. You also get a waterproof one. Then I'm just going to highlight my brow bone and inner corner with this metallic shade from the Mars Fantasy 15 palette. Then I'm using this brown shade from the same palette for powder contouring. For blush, I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Mellow Wine. This is a nude pink kind of shade that I really like. It's matte and extremely blendable and it looks beautiful on dusky skin. For highlighter, I'm using the Miss Clay Liquid Highlighter in Rose Gold. This is a beautiful liquid highlighter. I love the formula. You can apply it on bare skin or on full coverage makeup. It doesn't matter. It sits beautifully on top of products and it blends seamlessly. It also gives you a glass skin kind of glow instead of, you know, that chunky glittery kind of glow that I really don't like. For lipstick, I'm using the Miss Clem Mega Matte Lipstick in 18. Now this is also a new launch but I'm not going to talk a lot about it here. I am going to do a separate video. And then to make my lips appear more nude, I am mixing a little bit of Nykaa So Matte Mini in 50M Cinnamon Crunch. And this is the completed look. You guys always ask about contact lens details. I try to include the details in the description box but yes this is the TTDI one year soft contact lens in polar lights brown. That is the shade name polar lights brown and it's very comfortable and the color is gorgeous as you can see. It also looks very very natural and that's it for the video. I hope you find it helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.